One day, the kind-hearted Mother Holly went down to water the flowers in the garden. At that time, she saw three corpulent hunters looking towards her house. Mother Holly went to them curiously. Hey, strangers! What are you doing in my garden? This garden and house are inside our hunting grounds. That's why you need to vacate your house immediately. We'll demolish your house and build a hunting lodge here. Oh, but how is that possible? I've been living in this house for years. Don't make it difficult, old lady. If you don't leave the house right away, we'll knock the house down while you're asleep at night. <laughs> The hunters walked towards the house laughing. Mother Holly tried to stop them, but failed. The hunters started to destroy the doors and windows with their axes. Mother Holly hurried to the flower garden deep in the forest, and she loudly called for help. Help me! Can't anyone hear me? Just then, Emily, Emily paid attention help. to the voice coming from the well. Huh? Mother Holly, is that you? What's going on? Emily, oh, you need to come right away. I need your help. Emily left her cross stitch and holding on to the rope, went down the well. Mother Holly was so happy to see her. Oh, this morning, three hunters came and started tearing down my house. They're going to make it a hunting lodge. Oh, but you've been living there for years! They can never do that! Hmm. Oh, I have an idea! Come on, we'll save your house from the hunters! While the hunters were tearing down the inside of the house, a black shadow passed through the window. Hey, did you see this? What was that? Maybe a bear? They panicked a little when the same shadow passed through the window a second time. Huh? It passed again! This must be a bear for sure! The hunters took their arrows and stormed out. But they saw not a bear, but an ugly old witch. Oh, hunters! This house is full of ghosts and fairies! Get out of here now! Now! The hunters didn't realize that the ugly witch was actually Mother Holly. <laughs> There's no such thing as a ghost, old witch. Huh. If you don't believe me, disaster will happen to you. I'm the oldest witch of this forest. Whatever Mother Holly told the hunters, she could not convince them. The hunters continued to break into the house and destroy it. Mother Holly told Emily that she had failed to deceive the hunters. But Emily had another idea. A frightening sound started to reverberate in the house as the three burly hunters were throwing out the items inside the house one by one. house no I will curse you hunters were terrified of the sound while they were looking around in a hurry the vase on the table fell with a bang huh how did that vase fall you dropped it no I didn't he did no you must have hit your foot stop making that creepy noise I'm not making that noise. What are you talking about? It's not us. While the hunters were arguing among themselves, the books started to fall to the ground by themselves. The hunters could not stand the fear and threw themselves out. And Emily stuck her head out from behind the seat she was hiding in and laughed softly. Turns out it was Emily herself who frightened the hunters with her voice and dropped the items with a transparent rope. Gentlemen, that old witch confused us. 
Let's get on with our work. When the hunters entered, they saw a ghost with huge black eyes right in front of them. <laughs> hunters have run away from home, their feet entangled, never to return. Turns out, what they thought was a ghost was Mother Holly herself. The hunters ran so fast that they finally lost their way. Meanwhile, they met a young girl in the forest. Hey, young girl, don't go that way! There's a house full of ghosts there! I think the ghost cursed us! And we lost our way! Oh, no! Oh, that's too bad! Then get this key. A golden gate will appear in front of you. Run away from there! The hunters left with the key they took. But they didn't know that this young girl was Emily, who scared them. A little further on, a golden gate appeared before the hunters. The disguise of each hunter who passed through the gate was changed. Their axes and arrows vanished. I will no longer hunt. All animals will be my friends. I'll always respect nature, protect trees, and all plants. I will never, ever harm anyone's house or property. All three hunters turned into good-hearted gentlemen and left. On the other hand, Emily happily returned to Mother Holly. See, Mother Holly? We knew we'd get your house back. <laughs> yes, the hunters did not hunt us. We hunted them. But Mother Holly's house was in shambles and ruins. Together, they decided to repair and restore the house. However, for this, they had to ask Emma for help. But Emma, she doesn't like to work at all. Emily went to the flower garden and called Emma. When Emma learned that Mother Holly needed help, she happily agreed to come over. They helped each other for days and repaired the house and cleaned everything. In the evening, they sat around a table full of delicious food and talked about the importance of female solidarity. Because when women help each other, it is much easier to solve every problem.